actually, it's a myth about doctors and nurses dating so much. I mean, I know more nurses who date cops, firemen, paramedics. Now, that cliche is true. Oh, especially cops. Especially young cops. <laughs> <laughs> Um, getting back to Dr. Green, he does seem a little... In three. Oh, okay. Everybody, that was great. Yeah. So you got some splating to do. There's all this about Stuart. cops and firemen. Stay with them, they're mine. Jealous? Jealous. I know what you're doing for them, you're not doing for me. Uh, I'll tell you later if you bring the cuffs. See, I thought I was going to get some sleep tonight. Well, don't kill him on that. Look at him. Bet he wishes he could read lips. Huh? <laughs> Hi there, dumbass. <laughs> Doug, he's waving. You got a mic? <gasps> oh my God! Do you think he could hear me? Turn it off. Doug. Ketchup or Tabasco? And your scrambled eggs. You want? Uh, Something some people consider a vegetable, you want to go with something a little more daring. You thought I left, didn't you? No, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, really, I didn't. Okay, yeah, I did, but you you kind of did leave, technically. Well, no, that doesn't count. If you'd gotten up a little bit earlier, you would have seen me here sound asleep. Well, some habits die hard. Yeah, like you sleeping in. <laughs> like you not being there in the morning. Ah, uh, it's an old habit. Thank you. Mm. Okay. I gotta talk to you about something. Oh, Doug, not another serious conversation. You used to say we didn't communicate. I so... know, but now you're communicating a little I... bit too much. This is important. Can I have a drawer? <laughs> what? <laughs> a drawer, something you keep your clothes in. Something that I would keep my clothes in. We never wanted a drawer before. Well, that's because I always got up and left. And now that I'm staying here, Mm -hmm. I could maybe just have um, some place to mm, keep a new shirt. Yeah. Or a nice pair of socks. Mm -hmm. I'd settle for underwear. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you can always just wash your boxers out in the sink and then drive by in the morning. <laughs> mm. Oh, my. <laughs> closed? Closed. Keep them closed. It should have been closed. Okay. okay. Open them. <laughs> All right. Boom. It's very delicate, Doug. <laughs> well, that's a drawer. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I love this drawer. Good. <laughs> come here, you. <laughs> hey, come here. <laughs> ah. <laughs> well, you know what? I love sitting out here on the porch with you. It's something new. Something new. Hmm. <laughs> nice drawer. <laughs> it's a good touch. Dude. Previously on ER. Dr. Green, excuse me, but I've actually done quite a few more ER procedures than she has. I used to sell vitamins over the phone. Th that's kind of in the health field, isn't it? You know, he just wants your boy to have his daddy's last name. So what's wrong with that? <laughs> How's your busy social calendar? It's not as busy. This is Elizabeth Corday, new surgical resident. Oh. It's a pleasure. How do you do? Maybe it would be best if I stepped in and took over some of the administrative duties while you're recuperating. Bless you, Carrie Weaver. You got the job. What? by car. Fifteen minutes on the L. You're not enjoying this. No. Should I? Doug, it's a secret romance. I mean, isn't that what sells bad novels? It shouldn't be a bad novel. It's my train. Come on. Uh, oh, yeah, get that. See you at work. Hi. Carol, hey. I know what you're thinking, and you're wrong. I'm busy. 
I'm just gonna follow you around. Why work follow this out. me? Why not follow her? If I didn't have to do this secrecy tab. I think the secrecy thing works for you just fine. I didn't flirt with her. No, no. She asked you out for a drink because she likes the way you hold an ice pack. I told her that I was attached. I could say who I was attached with. I couldn't say that Carol Hathaway was with me. You're what? I'm your what? Come on. I want to be with you, and I want to be here with you because I want to be with you. But if you don't trust me, then this doesn't work. I have a lot of things to do. I'll be at the L. <laughs> I had prepared a very elaborate argument. Does not mean I don't need it? I already had the argument mm -hmm. with myself. Mm -hmm. I hope there wasn't any name calling involved. No, it was very civil. You won. No, so I do better when I'm not there. <laughs> this time, yeah. <laughs> so you trust me? This time. <laughs> Are you keeping score? Yeah. You're ahead. I'm sorry, what? How's it going, Doug? Need some duct tape? So that's what this is? Is this an ego check? No, 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 no. This is about spending time together. I can do better activities. I like to keep you a little off balance. Yeah, right? well, I'm sorry to disappoint you, Carol, but you underestimate me. I don't think so. It's easy. It's like ice skating. Yeah, until you have to stop. That's what lampposts are for. Doug, your helmet. Oh, no, no helmet. Safety first. No, no, no. You're not wearing a helmet. No, yeah, don't. I know you're what I'm doing. Do. Don't. <laughs> you wear that on purpose. Skate, Tonya. All right, Mr. Crash. Crash? I'm not going to... I wish you'd wait and leave tomorrow. I just want to get on with it. At least let me give you a ride to the airport. Nah, I'm just gonna leave the car in parking, pick Mark up on the way. I'm glad he's going with you. Yeah, it's probably a good idea from get out of town for a while. I'm gonna miss you. I love you, Carol. I love you too.